Last week on the Saturday sessions, I used a map to get around Queen Elizabeth Country Park on a planet space trail. It was really good fun. And at one point I said this. I've got a uh, ordnance survey puzzle book. I've been doing some of those puzzles for the channel. I think that I think that'd be awesome and fun to do, but uh, some of you might not think so. So guess what we're doing today? Hello everyone, how are we doing? This is it, the first episode of the Ordnance Survey Great British Treasure Hunt puzzle book. Now you can probably see here on the screen, I have got the first challenge, the very first challenge. So what we do is we work our way through the country on each challenge and we basically see if we can get all the questions right. They come in four categories, easy, medium, tricky and challenging. I've read the first page that that kind of precedes this puzzle. It's just a little bit of backstory on, on Callanish. And this is where we're starting, the town of Callanish in Scotland. We do start in Scotland. I'll quickly show you uh, what our route is going to be. There you go. You can see that we're starting up here in Callanish. And we are working our way down into lower parts of Scotland and then into England. So here we go. It's the first challenge. I've, I've not looked at this at all at all so i've got no idea what's coming i do know a little bit about ordnance survey maps already so i know what some of the icons mean and, and things like that but in terms of the questions i've not seen anything yet so this is my first look at it so without further ado let's get this one underway right so we've got Callanish here now i can um i can zoom in so if i need to look at things i can zoom in so I'll take that into account uh, and i'll write the i'll write the uh, answers to the questions down here and then at the end we will see how many i've got right let's do it okay question one what do you get if you subtract the smallest number on the map from the greatest number now the first thing i can see is a road name the a858 so it'd be difficult that's just up there it'd be difficult to try and find a number bigger than that but we will have a quick scan we've got to think about contours as well so the contour lines here depict the heights of uh of the land in meters so 10 at the moment is the smallest i can see so 858 is the highest with that road there. There's a nine there. These look like there's a four there. Is that a four? I think it is a four. These look like junctions, maybe. I'm not sure. So we're definitely, I think, 858 for the largest number. I'm happy with that because these contours aren't going anywhere near that high. But the smallest number, I think, think is going to have to be a four there's an eight there a 12 a nine but i think this little four here is the one and of course 858 take away four is 854 i can't see anything smaller i'm gonna i'm gonna lock that in i think i'm gonna lock that in 858 take away four which is 854, 854 locked in. There we go. How many locations on the map are specifically for livestock management? Right, well, livestock management. So let's start at the top here. Now there's a sheep wash here, sheep and livestock. So that's one, cattle grid. Do we class cattle grid as livestock management? Because cattle grids just stop cattle from getting out of a certain area. Is that management? Do we class it as management? Okay. There's another sheep wash there, so that's definitely two. Another sheep wash there, so that's three. It's a lot of steep sheep washes. Cannonish farm, four, so farm is obviously. 
and another category there so that's another, that's two of those so four another sheep wash there five and a sheep dip there so that's six so it's six definitely but do we count the cattle grids i don't think we do i'm going to say no because it's not it's not livestock management it's just something that keeps stock uh, livestock out so i'm saying six if i'm wrong i'm wrong there we go that was the easy ones time to take on the medium questions okay question three which cattle grid is the peak of aired kalanish further from so here's aired kalanish and the peak i th i think we're going to be looking at here isn't it 45 meters so which cattle grid is the peak of aired furthest from there was one up here wasn't there I'm feeling it's this one here. That's pretty far away. Where was the other one? The other one was down here, wasn't it? Yeah. As far as I'm aware, I'm just going to check because I think CW is also an abbreviation for. Sorry, CG is also an abbreviation for cattle grid. So I just want to make sure there's no CGs anywhere. Cheeky ones down here. There's not. So I think it's this one how do we explain that on the question let's say um cattle grid near how do you say that Bre breastlet oh dear brescletti don't know so the cattle grid near brescletti or whatever it's called that's the one we're going for this one up here Question four, how many diagonal lines touch the northeast side of the A858 along the stretch of road between the school and public telephone? How many diagonal lines touch the northeast side? So northeast side is this side of the A58 along the stretch of road between the school and public telephone. Right, let's go in. So there is the public telephone here which is on this junction and there's the school so it's every diagonal line that touches the northeast side of the a58 so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four That seemed too easy. I don't want to. There's nothing there. I don't think so. It's got to be this one first. Or is that. That's a contour line, isn't it? But do we class it as a diagonal line? Or is it. No. Okay. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. It's got to be that. That's what we're going for. 24 lines. OK, four questions done, four to go. Um, yes, we are recording. Right, we'll move on to Tricky then. Callanish on the Isle of Lewis is within which archipelago? Well, now you're just testing my geography. Is it is within which archipelago? So it's. It's on that west coast. I want to say Hebrides, but I don't know if that's right. But it's the only thing that I've got. I'm going for the Outer Hebrides, but purely because I can't think of anything else it would be. How do you spell that? Is it that? I'm going for the Outer Hebrides. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. That's a tough question because I obviously live pretty much as far as way as you can get from scotland right on the south coast oh, this is so exciting right <laughs> question number six here we go counting from the top which full or partial grid row so the grid rows are these here these boxes contains the most wells and how many is that oh my word okay 
what even is a well? This is, this is actually, this is actually tricky. All right, let's go in a little bit. So our first, we've got, there's nothing that resembles a well there. Is it a W? I'm thinking it's going to be a W. There's nothing in this one and there's nothing in this one. Waterfalls there, a dam. So nothing in that one, nothing in that one, and nothing in that one. Again, nothing there, nothing there. And nothing there. Okay. Is it a W? It's got to be a W, isn't it? Unless it's a well sign. Ah, that's one there, isn't it? That's got to be it. Well. Okay. So this one here has one, I think. Yep. Null in there. Uh, oh, we've got another one here. So one in there. This one here has two, assuming that the W is a well. And this grid here has zero. So if it is a W, which I think it is, which full or partial grid row of the map, not grid square, grid row. So in that case, it's the bottom row, isn't it? Because it's got three. If we're counting this whole section down here, as a as a a grid row columns rows so so in that case there's zero 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 one because we've got one here and three so we're going bottom row and three easy medium and tricky done let's move on to challenging right from the west question seven from the westerly here Head directly south to a yellow road. Follow that to a jetty and then move directly east to the third different contour line you meet. Trace that line to a school and from the school move west to a complete island. What is it called? Wow. Okay. From the westerly pier. Right, there is a pier there. A westerly pier. Or is it called the westerly pier? Has to be, doesn't it? Okay, I think that's the most westerly pier. Unless there's one called westerly pier. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. Piers. So they're saying there's piers there. This looks to be the most westerly one. Unless there's any down here further west. I don't think there is. Okay, so we're going to take this one here. Right. From the westerly pier, head directly south to a yellow road. Directly south, directly south, directly south. Bang, yellow road. Perfect. Follow that to a jetty. There's the jetty. Brilliant. And then move directly east to the third different contour line you meet. Directly east. One, two, or is it one, two, three? I'm going with that one. And then trace that line to a school. This is difficult. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. So we're here now. We're tracing this line here. Is it the school from earlier? Where's that go now? Is it following the road? It's there. Yes. Yeah, it's got to be this school, isn't it? It's got to be. Okay, so we're at that school that we were before. And then from the school, move west to a complete island. What is it called? Is it that one? Is that a complete island? Skia and Oin. Oh, mm. I'm not entirely convinced with that. But there's no other more westerly piers. Unless there is a pier called Westerly Pier, but I can't see one. We followed it south. We hit the yellow road. We followed it to the jetty. We went east until we hit our third contour. And we traced it to the school. And then we moved west to Complete Island. But is that a complete island? I don't really think there's any other option. I don't even think there's any other school by the looks of it. School is SCH and that is the only one I can see. You'd think that there'd be one down here, wouldn't you? No. It's going to have to be that then. 
I've got no other options. I don't even know how to pronounce this. Skia and Oin. All the Scottish people now are saying that is completely wrong. That's the only option, really, for me. I can't think of anything else it could be. Okay. Question number eight. Can you discover the number of monoliths in the celebrated stone circle of the Kalanish stones? Solving this anagram will be useful to you. A bronze desk. Can you discover the number of monoliths in the celebrated stone circle of the Kalanish stones? Right, well, there are the, the standing stones of Kalanay. Kalanish. Solving the anagram will help you. A bronze desk. Bronze desk. Bronze desk. There's the. I don't know if there's any way of knowing how many monoliths there are from this image here. There was a picture of them in the book. I'll show you. Actually, no, I won't show you because I might find out how many there are. Stand, and this, it also says standing stones up here. A bronze desk. Hang on. Okay, is there any places on here with a Z in its name? That's that's what I'm thinking first. I don't think there is. What about? Okay, I'm thinking twelve, because the word dozen, you can make the word dozen from a bronze desk. Let me just check what letters are left if I make the word dozen. So dozen is obviously 12, D-O-Z-E-N. And I've got an A-B-R-E-S-K left. Ah, oh, my word. It's a baker's dozen. It's a baker's dozen. <laughs> it's a baker's dozen. And everyone knows a baker's dozen is 13. A baker's dozen is 13. They make 12 and one spare. 13. I am well up here myself for that. Baker's dozen. 13. Boom. Come on. I am chuffed with that. 13 stones. Baker's dozen. Right. Now, apparently, in every single one that we do of these, there's a key puzzle at the end, which at the end helps you find out the treasure. So, this is an important one. So, the key puzzle says. The word Eileen appears in black more than once on this map. What does it mean? Okay. So we've got we've got one here, we've got one here. That's two. Is it is it island? Because these two are islands, but it doesn't say it on our little island up there, does it? The only thing I can think of is it means island because it's with the like island Trosdom, island or a what it or a, I don't know. And I can't see it anywhere else. I'm going for island. It means island. That's all I can think of. And there we go. We are done. Time for the scores. Time for the answers. Solutions, as they say. Right, question one. What do I get? I said 854. The answer is 854. 858 minus 4 uh, gives us a 4. So I'm going to do a little. Um, how, how can we say that this is correct? I want to say that it's correct. Let's turn it to um, green. That'll do, won't it? Oh, that's too green. And if it's wrong, we'll turn it red. Question number two is how many locations on the map are specifically for livestock management? I said six. The answer is seven. There's four sheep wash. I thought there was more than that, but there's four sheep wash. Great. Two cattle grids and a sheep dip. So that's seven. I didn't even talk about the farm. Didn't even mention the farm. How is a farm not livestock management? That is ridiculous. I'm sorry, that's ridiculous. Question three, which cattle grid is the peak of Arid Kalanish further from? I said the one by Bresklet. The, the book says the northerly one is the further. 
So we got this one correct. There we go, got that one right. Four, how many diagonal lines? I said 24 lines, and the answer, you won't believe this, is 25. There is another one, but it is not between the school and the telephone. What? But the question said between the school and telephone. That's a bit off, isn't it? I'm not happy with that. I'm not happy with that at all. 50% so far. Correct. Okay, tricky one. Uh, I said that there was the, the, the archipelago was the Outer Hebrides, and it is the Outer Hebrides. That was a shot in the dark. Very happy to get that one right, but it's the only one I know. So, uh, and question six: the the grid row with the most wells. Uh, the answer is the fifth row, which I think is the bottom one, two, three, four, five. Yep, with three. So again, we got that right. How did I get all the tricky ones right? But one of the easy ones wrong and one of the medium ones wrong. Ridiculous. Okay, number seven was the one where I had to move around a little bit and I said Skia and Oin, uh, and that is correct. I've got, unbelievably, I've got that right. And we went to the jetty correctly, went to the right uh, contour line and then to the school and west. So we got that one right as well. Brilliant stuff. There we go. And then question eight, it is a baker's dozen and it is 13. So somehow, I've got that one correct too. And then the key puzzle, what does the word Eileen, Eileen mean? It's pretty obvious when you say it like that. It is actually an island. So again, we are correct. Would you look at that? Incredible. So let's give ourselves a score. So out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, we got seven out of nine. That is a great result. There we go. Seven out of nine for the first one. I am very happy with that. I can't complain. So annoyed about that question two. Uh, don't even count the farm, but they do count the cattle grids. So that should have been seven. And then the diagonal lines. I was never going to get that if there was one not in between the school. It might be that one there. I thought it was a contour line, but it might be that. Who knows? It's done now. There we go. That's the first one done. Thanks so much, everyone. If you liked it, then please do let me know in the comments because there is a lot to do. Uh, and every now and again, I'll do one and we'll see how we do. And eventually at the end, we'll, we'll try and solve the, the key puzzles and we'll try and get the treasure. Thanks very much. Please do like and subscribe if you enjoyed this one. It's another Saturday session, all done and dusted. And I'll see you next time.